So I have a collection update for October today. Um, I've been needing to do a collection update um, for a while now, and I thought I'd do one real quick here. So uh, here's the uh, Kenworth T800W, the matte granite with the two Rogers flip axle low boys, one in white and one's in black. There's a, a custom load I built for the, them. There's a, a bucket, a key, some cones, and rops for D6R that I actually, um, believe it or not, broke. I was uh, taking pictures of the trucks, and for some reason I moved that and set it on the ground, and I accidentally stepped on it, so I had to fix that real quick, re-glue it back together. It's so S751, uh, C185 with the Talbert Tag Trailer. Um... There's the Sword 379 with some attachments and the Nelson Ramp trailer. There's the Lampson 4100W. I love that model, absolutely love it. I want to do a review of it uh, here shortly. Uh, if you can see there. I did break one of the pendant lines. I have all the parts, but I need to restrain it still. Um, I broke that actually when I was setting it up, so it's been broke for a very long time. Here's a CCM349, or three, yeah, 349E, and the Peterbilt 379 and DG equipment colors with the Nelson 3x3x3. Here's the uh, 416C, I think it's a C, yeah, it's a C, and then the 428C as well. Here's the Northscott 336E with the least custom trench box, uh, not trench box, bedding box, and I uh, really like the blue I did there. Um, I think the paint on that turned out pretty, pretty, uh, Nice, and I like having it on the 336. I think it looks real nice, and it hides his ugly teeth. Um, there's a sword ATS Freightliner with a East trailer or step deck. Another Jell East Super 800 with the uh, E35. And if you guys can't tell, I've gotten new lights. Um, all I can say is lights are not cheap these days. Uh, there's a D8T, it's the WA380, shell off 5540F, and I finally painted its load. The uh, 336, uh, 330D. So yeah, there's those lights, they're real bright, I really like them though. So yeah, um, another Mac Granite and the... 320 DLR that's still not finished. I don't have any time to work on it anymore. It doesn't seem like uh, I'll have to finish that this one. I know I keep saying I will, but I need to. The 470G and the 357 the MZ66 and the WA70. I've actually had that model for a while. Just never displayed it. Um, for $30, I don't think it's bad, but the worst movement on it is the um, turning capabilities. Other than that, I think it's a great little model. Um, it, I know it's a lot. Of, it's really plasticky, but it's whatever. It's really nice. Other than that. There's the 9782K, the Maruka MST1500V, the PC88MR313, and the 2 XL Oshkosh. It's the SM Stone Oshkosh Mixer. I really, really do like that, but it's not a cheap piece, but I'm glad I can get it when I buy those uh, cranes usually, or buy cranes. Uh, 938K with uh, Greg's Custom Models uh, Protect Snow Pusher. It's a 430. It's really dark up here, so there's a, uh, some plows. Um, 
there's a D40 and a cat service truck. These two Oshkoshes. I still want to find a place for them down on, down here, but still haven't figured how I, out how I want to really show them. I'll put you guys over here. Um, so, uh, I've been really busy with a lot of custom work right now, currently, so that's why I haven't had time to do a lot of videos on YouTube, but I'm doing as many as I can. And if you guys haven't already uh, watched Sal's, I know this is very surprising. I'm very, like... I don't know why, but it's very energetic to me and makes me want to really keep pushing at this. Is uh, He just uploaded a unboxing, uh, believe it or not. he I think he's going to start getting back into models. I know he keeps saying it, but I actually think he is this time. He bought a, a Cat 365BL, and he did buy a 320DL, and he's repainting them white. He said what got him to do it was uh, seeing all the uh, custom work all the other guys do on Instagram, and just seeing how the com community has changed, uh, I guess you could say, from when he that we've kind of came back in a way I guess you could say with a lot of new faces and a lot of new really good guys um, that are really keep trying to keep this community alive uh, which has obviously happened uh, you know JJ he's probably a uh, good person to influence he, uh, JJ is a good uh, influence to many people, I'm sure, and Kevin, uh, and just some because they uh, are co consistent with everything. It seems like. Um, so you're gonna be seeing a slow down on buying models because uh, I guess well it's fall here in Ohio right now, but we're transitioning over to winter so it's not as so we're not making as money I should say me personally because we don't do as much snow removal as we do uh, mowing or landscaping in general we, that plowing is our least our greatest downfall it seems like in profit because we don't do many accounts at all I only do it. All right, we do a good amount of driveways, but not very many. Um, good amount for myself and another guy. Um, so uh, I'm trying to save for some models and stuff, and the new sword pickups that are coming out. I want to buy a few of those, and the. The bridge beam trailer. I know Kevin thinks that that's what's gonna put Sword out of business. It's, I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, I was reading Chuck's blog the other day, and he said the only reason they have not been released yet is because they had a delay in truck castings. I guess I think so. That's why they are behind on that, but. Um, I certainly will be buying one to go along with the other 3x3x3, three by three by three. and I, uh, comment down below which one you think I should buy, the Peterbilt one or the Kenworth, Kenworth will be in white, and the Peterbilt will be in, uh, red. So, uh, that's about it, guys, stay tuned for more videos, and, uh, I guess comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.